boot camp session here. All you're gonna need is a pair of dumbbells. We are gonna use some bands to get warmed up. If you don't have bands to warm up, you could just do the stretches for your shoulders. We're gonna go through a band circuit to get the upper body warmed up, some lower body stretching to get the lower body warmed up. So in that time, if you don't have some dumbbells, get a pair of dumbbells. All you need is one pair of dumbbells. There are different exercises, like think of a, a chest press, but also a bicep curl. So you, you might want to have two different types of weights for that. So if you have multiple sets of weights, just get different weights out that, that you might have to have them ready. While we're doing this band warm up, you can do some stretching while you're getting your dumbbells set up, while you're getting rolling, do what you got to do. We're going to jump on some bands right away, do some shoulder rotator cuffs, some upper body, full body warm ups, and then we're going to jump right into these rounds. We're going to take a good amount of time to warm up because once we start the rounds, they're going to be very long rounds. They're going to have 12 sets straight through with zero break on these um, with of all strength exercises. So you're going to get your muscles going to be burning plus it's going to get your heart rate up, going to get you out of breath combining some conditioning with the strength. So get a few different pairs of weights of dumbbells, think of chest press, think of squats, think of deadlifts, think of bicep curls and shoulder presses. That's the type of stuff we're going to do different variations of all of those. So get your weight set. If you have a band set up to we're gonna fly through it. You can see right here. So I have a band that's attached to the to the side here. We're gonna start with our right arm. Don't forget Facebook and Instagram. Everything is backwards. So I'm facing away from you, but this is my right arm, and I'm rotating it in across my stomach. My elbows glued to my side. I'm just hitting six of each. That's it. Easy. Just to get warmed up. Then I flip around. Now my left arm. So my elbow stuck to the side, and I'm just rotating across. This is just loosening up my shoulder, getting ready for all the lifting. And all the hundreds of push-ups we're going to add in. Yes, I said hundreds. We're going to add hundreds of push-ups into our strength routine. Now I'm going to stay right here, put in my right arm, and rotate out. Just getting deep inside this shoulder, rotator cuff loosened up. I literally do this routine, this band shoulder routine, before every single workout. Before strength, before cardio, before boxing. I do this seven days per week. Flip around. Left arm rotating out now. Out is always going to be a little harder than in. And we're just going literally five or six of each. You can go up to eight, whatever. Now we're going to go forward. So the band is behind me and I'm rotating 90 degrees. Elbow straight out from my shoulder, rotating forward with the right arm. And if you don't have a band, just go through the air. You can even do this literally through the air with a real light dumbbell just to loosen up your shoulders. Now let's go left arm forward, rotating forward. So see it's a 90 degree bend in my elbow, come until I'm, I'm flat parallel to the floor. And same thing, now flip around, right arm rotating back, up high and back. Warming up deep, deep, deep in this shoulder, getting ready for work. And left arm, same thing, rotate it back. And that's it for those, literally just four quick sets. Get a quick stretch of your shoulder, fling that chest open, stretch your shoulder out, fling it. So again, all you need is, is a pair of dumbbells, maybe a couple different variations of weights for different exercises. So you have time now to get them while we're getting here warmed up and getting rolling. So you're going to grab your band again. If you have a, a little heavier of a band, go for it. If you have to use the same band, use the same band. We're going to now warm up all of our basic exercises. We're going to start with the chest press. So out, out 90 degrees. My legs are squared up, straight across each other, not staggering my stance. I'm just going to hit about 8 to 10 right arm chest press. Breathe out. So get into the breathing rhythm. We push out, exhale, in uh, through your nose, coming back. Drive it, drive it, stick that chest out, and just flip right over to the left arm, left arm chest press. Drive it out. This is getting our body ready to work. We don't want to just jump right into the work. We need to get warmed up. Flip around, we're going to do a right arm row. Palm could be in, palm could be down, up, you could twist with it, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you're rowing with control. Now it's a pulling movement, so the breathing is going to be the exact opposite. Exhale. As you bring it back, pull it back. A little pause and squeeze in your back, behind your shoulder, your lats. Strong grip, strong form, strong bicep. Switch over, left arm. See, we're just flying through. We're just flowing through. He's getting the body freaking moving, warming up all your joints, your chest, your shoulders, your triceps, your back. Bice, tries, all your joints. And that's good. We're going to go with our right arm, straight out to our side. Even though my back is too, you'll see when I flip around. And do a single arm chest fly, just bring it into the center of the chest. Well, just squeeze it into the center of the chest. Again, we only need like eight of these. 
Get all of our muscles pumped up, get some blood flow. Now left arm, so you can see that band is straight out to my side, and I'm bringing it into the center of the chest, just like if I was bringing two arms together. Squeeze it in, resist it out. I'm gonna face in towards my band, I'm gonna do a single arm pullover. Right here, just pulling straight down to the side of my leg. Warm up that lat, that tricep, get some more movement in the shoulder at every different angle, every plane. Switch the left arm. Just pull it over, breathe it out. It's quick, short sets, just get moving. And right back to the right arm, arm up, bicep curl. We're only doing six of these. Just to get the elbows, the joints, the body tries moving up, we don't need a ton. We can get plenty of work in on the arms during the workout. Left arm, bicep curl. And lean over, tricep. Elbow stuck to your side, kick it back. Right arm, tricep. And stand up straight, you got a position. Left arm, kick it. Squeeze those tries, get ready. You're gonna do lots of push ups, lots of bent chest presses, lots of shoulder presses. Good, put that down. Let's rotate those shoulders forward. Fling them forward and fling them back. Come in and out. Catch it for a stretch. Fling it. Catch it. Get ready to roll. So, listen, here's how it's gonna go. There's gonna be six exercises, all with dumbbells. Six exercises in a row. After every one of those six, we are going to do a set of push-ups. I'm going to be doing 10. He's going to be doing like five, six, eight, somewhere around there. Just a short set, shorter than you normally could do because it's going to be every single exercise is going to be followed by a set of push-ups. So all six of those dumbbell exercises has a set of push-ups in between each. So that means six sets of push-ups built into that round. It's going to be a long round. It's going to be a pretty tough round. But shake it out, stretch it out, get ready, get mentally, physically prepared for it. And have your dumbbells ready. Have different variations of your dumbbells ready for different exercises. Especially this first round, you probably want to go a little lighter than the rest of the rounds because you want to get your ass warmed up before you start jumping straight into your 100 pound dumbbells and all that other shit. So start off pretty light. Oh, take all sharp objects and weapons and blades out of your pockets. Get your dumbbells, whatever you need, starting with a chest press. So we're going to start on our backs, on the floor, for a chest press. It's going to be chest press, squat, bent over row, standing shoulder press, dumbbell deadlift, and then bicep curl. So realize you need a couple different weights for those, and just have them ready. Let's do it. We're starting chest press. We're going. And don't forget, we're adding a freaking set of push-ups in between after every single set. There's going to be certain points in this routine. Those push-ups are going to suck. Those rounds are going to suck when you have four three, four upper body exercises in a row, but you're going to suck it up, you're going to deal with it. So we're going to start with chest press on your back. Grab your dumbbells. We're going right on the floor here. We're not even going on a bench. You don't even need a bench. Right here. And press it up. Let's do it. Breathe out and push up. Tap your elbows to the floor. Exhale, strong exhale. It's just the first round. You should be on lighter weight. Just get warmed up. We're only going about 12 this first set. Good. I'm here. You got space. I'm here. 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 I'm Against, keep, keep with your light weight because we are just getting started. It's just the first round. This is kind of your warm up round to get into the flow. You're going to hold the weight of your chest straight up and down, elbows in tight, chest out, and just sit back on the hips and heels. Usually we do the first round, that's when we get right here. You know, usually the first round we wouldn't have like, get it, here we right to it. We're not going to get as many rounds as usual. In through the nose down, out through the mouth up. Inhale, exhale, straight. Control, sit back on the hips and heels, your upper body. Look, I'm not letting that weight pull my chest forward. Sit your ass back like you're about to sit on the toilet bowl and take a dump. Put the nose down, 
Mouth in the mouth up. Let's go two more. Last one. Boom. Right to another set of push-ups. The push-ups are going to suck. Especially if you've been doing, we've been doing two to 300 push-ups every single day. Get ready for our 24-hour push-up challenge. So they're going to suck. Eight, nine, ten. Up on your feet with your dumbbells for bent over rows. We're going to do a few different variations of this stuff today. Alternating arm, single arm. This first round is all just double arm. So grab your weight. Lean over at the waist. Double arm row. We're just going to move about 12. Nice and slow. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Tight squeeze, tight grip. Good. Right back down to push ups. That sucks. 10 push ups. But your, your heart rate sure to be getting up. You're doing this the right way. Your muscles sure to be feeling it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are going overhead shoulder press. So if you have lighter dumbbells, this is the time to do them. You don't want to be chest pressing and shoulder pressing with the same weight unless you absolutely need to. Then you just make sure you're doing, changing your reps up. So we're going shoulder press. Drive it up. Three more. First round's going short sets, especially on the shoulders. So you get plenty of work on the presses and the push-ups that you're about to end again. Yeah, the push-ups already freaking suck. This is the first round. This is just the first round. Shake it in between if you have to. Do what you gotta do. Let's go, push. I'm going to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you notice we're doing real push-ups. Our chest is touching the floor every single rep. Arms are extending every single rep. Feet are together, touching, heel to heel, toe to toe, every single freaking rep. We're going to deadlift. Just start with one dumbbell, so it's the first round, so you don't need to go crazy. We're just going to hold it right here. I'll go from the sides to the dumbbells we're doing. Dumbbell and everything. Lean over at the waist, tap it to the floor, and drive it. See a little bend in the knees, my back is straight, and hinge at the hips to come up. Work in the hamstrings, Glutes, lower back. So we're just one dumbbell there. So it's the first round. We'll add more weight in later as we go. Tap it, drive it. Breathe it out. Go three more. Last one. Done. And push ups. No, that time. Push ups. Let's do it. Right away, every set has set freaking push-ups. Then, and we're going to double arm bicep curls with your lighter weight. If you don't have dumbbells at home, even if you have a gym membership, whatever you have, every human should have a pair of dumbbells at home and basic exercise gear. So you never have an excuse for not working out. The gym is closed. They're making you wear a mask. The hours don't work for you, whatever. All you need is a pair of dumbbells. You can see that's all we have today. Some dumbbells, and we're getting it in. You see on the cardio days, half time we don't use any equipment, more than half the time. Your body weight only. Only freaking piece of equipment you need is your body, your mind. That's it. Three more. Last one, boom. Finishing off the round, you're gonna get a break right after this. This is the 12th set. Push-ups for 10. Let's do it. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And time, shake it, shake it, shake it out. Take a break, recover. Stretch the chest, stretch the shoulders, stretch the tries, stretch the quads, strip the clothes because it should be getting hot and getting warm. 
body temperature should be up, your heart rate should be up, your muscles should be getting pumped up. Let's do it. Have my Herbalife and True Lean combined. Yes, bring dumbbells with you everywhere you go. I keep literally in my truck. I keep a few different pairs of dumbbells, a few different medicine balls, a full set of bands, a TRX. I keep in a compartment in my truck. All the time, it just stays there. I never take out, no matter where I am, but I have my car. I have a full little mini gym with me. Stretch it out, because these are long rounds. And let me tell you, if you've already done Mixed into your routine, you've already done six sets. So if you've been sticking to 10, you've already done 60 freaking push-ups already. Think about that. And those are just the bonus sets that you added in. And I'm going to keep stripping, so feel free to throw some dollar freaking bills into the floor. And you might be able to see me trip and bust my ass as I'm balancing on one leg, taking this off. I wouldn't make a very graceful profession out of that. Alright, so we're going to go and back to the chest press. If you're feeling good, if you're feeling warmed up, increase your weight a little bit on the chest press. Or if you just want to bang out extra reps, like we're going to keep it pretty light. Also knowing that you have those push-ups after every set, you're going to get plenty of upper body work. So you want to make sure you have, go and pick it, choosing the right weight for every exercise. Make sure you are choosing the right weight. Yes, his shoes. Oh yeah, mine are green and blue, his are gray and blue. We share shoes, it makes it easier. That'd be great if you were the same size shoe, you just don't have to buy so many damn pairs of shoes. That'd be good. All right, let's do it. Let's get on the floor for chest press. I'm gonna bump the weight up a little bit. Get a little bit of a challenge. It's gonna make it hard on the push-ups, but that's what we're here for. We're not here for easy shit, we choose hard shit. So let's go, get set up on the floor. Get your dumbbells ready. Round number two, and these are long ass rounds, so we're not going to need very many rounds in. Think about it, you already added 60 extra freaking push-ups in to your six sets. Let's do it, chest press. At least 12 to 15 here. With your increased weight, not worrying about the push-ups you have to do, you're putting out every freaking set. Every set going all out. Pump it, pump it, big chest. Exhale as you push it up. Let's go a few more. Oh yeah, those push-ups are gonna be fun after that. We did higher weight and more reps. Spin it out, show off your white boy break dancing moves over to the push-up position. And let's do it. 10 push-ups. Oh yeah. Five. Oh yeah, those are gonna suck this round, every round from here. All right, going right to the squat. Get your dumbbells for squats. Let's do it, right into it. Put your dumbbell up in your chest. Hold it tight. Over here in California, it's only 6.30. This little freak show over here woke up at 5.30 before school just to get his workout in. Normally we work out on Wednesdays together after he's done with school, I wait till then, we do our workout together, once I'm done with my, all my morning work. But today, I was doing it here with you, today on the, the class, he knew that, he told me to wake him up at 5.30. It's a little freak show, got up at 5.30, just to get his session in. And I'm babbling, I have no clue how many I did of these. So we'll call it three more. There's one. Two. Even though squats are going to be hard to do the push-ups now, the squats are supposed to be a break for the arms. But just holding that freaking weight. I'm trying to come up here to see if you have any. Yes, good AM habit. Donna Barada's in. Jump in, grab your dumbbells, let's roll. Barada. 10 push ups, let's go. Two, three, four, nine, ten. We're gonna drop for the bench over rows. This round, we're going to be alternating arms. Look, both arms are moving. Holding your core tight. I'll be using the increased weight also. This is going to suck. This is going to suck. 
alternate. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. At least 12 each side, at least. Five, five. Don't swing the body. 10, 11, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. Oh yeah. You should be out of breath. We are taking this strength and building condition, building strength, endurance here. Drop right away for your 10 push-ups. Hell yeah, getting cold in here no more. You cold? I'm freaking sweating already. 10, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10. You do squats here, the squats froze. Shoulder press. We're gonna go palms in on this set, alternating arms on the shoulder press. Palms in, should be your lighter weights. Don't try your heavier chest press weight, it's just not gonna work. It's not even good for you. Shit. <laughs> Might be out for a long set. I can do it. Won't be pretty. Let's go. Alternating arms. Nice and slow. Facebook, I'm a little cut off, so I'll squat down like I'm taking a, a dump. <laughs> Facebook angles are just weird on these lives when you go across. Drive it. But Facebook has to go, it's better to make the videos across. Because they're adding it onto YouTube and stuff. They want it across. And good. So after those shoulder presses, your arms are gonna be nice and fried. Drop for 10 more push-ups. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Freaks. Any questions, comments, put them down below. Still doing sissy push ups. You know what you'll be better off doing? Instead of like if you're doing push ups from your knees, because we've done tests on it and studies on it literally over the last 20 years. And women would do push ups from their knees because they couldn't do regular push ups. And the thing is, they do push ups on their knees for years. And after years of doing them on their knees, 
still not strong enough to do regular push-ups. So it wasn't building the right type of strength, the right type of core strength, the right type of balance to get up to a real push-up. They were just stuck doing it on their knees pretty much for life. So what you're better off doing is finding a ledge, a chair, whatever. What the hell? I'm gonna find something. So here we go. A chair. So finding like a chair or a ledge, an edge of something, and modifying it so you have an angle and coming down here. So you're still straight, so it's still the same mechanics of a push-up. If it's too hard still, put your feet apart. It gives you more of a base. So if you widen your feet, it's gonna make it easier. Elevate it, it's gonna make it easier. Also, you don't have to go way down. Or maybe you could do it on the floor. Just go in the push-up position on the floor, but put your feet wide and apart. And listen, only go one inch down. A one inch push-up, regular position on the floor, is gonna make you 10 times stronger than, than doing them on your knees. I promise you, like, think about it like this. Shit, now I have to demonstrate this on the break. And then we still have 60 push-ups to do the round, but it's all good. Look, go with your feet apart, wide, and literally here. And don't worry, that's not a real push-up. What we're gonna do here is some, some abs, some basic ab stuff, but it's gonna be flipping. We're still sticking with our 10 sets of push-ups. So we've done so far four rounds times 60. We've done 240 push-ups mixed in with 24 sets of dumbbells in about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Give yourself a freaking slap on the ass for that one. How about that? And then we're about to just finish off some abs. So we're gonna flip. We're gonna do 10 sets of push-ups, flip over, set of abs. Flip over, 10 sets, 10 push-ups, and abs to finish off, to burn things out. Take a couple of seconds, stretch, recover, and get your ass down on the floor. We did 240, so we're gonna do six sets of crunches. Six, or six sets of abs, which means six more sets of 10 push-ups to go out with a fucking bang. So that's gonna eat, make us at an even 300 push-ups throughout this workout. Think about that. If, you, if you've been sticking along, you've been doing this with us, give yourself some freaking credit. You're doing more here in this workout than most people do their whole week working out. We've already done 24 sets of dumbbells, which means 24 sets of push-ups which means 240 push-ups. And we're about to do six more. Think about that shit. So it'll end up being 30 sets, 30 sets of an exercise and 30 sets of push-ups within this 60 minute workout. And that include, that's faster than a minute per set. Think about it because we warm up in the beginning with the bands and the other stuff. All right, let's do it. So if we're down, so if we're down for the front, I'll, I know I'll be at 240, but then I need six, six, This is the eight, final round. Five, you've, been, you've been doing 10 most of the rounds too once you got warmed up, right? Second uh, round, third round. Even though Freak Show is doing 10 push-ups around, and real push-ups, peak Freak push-ups. Oh, come on. 